Hi, I'm Ken. Uh, I'm a fine artist and I teach art in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, my story is pretty much a horror movie. Uh, I started experiencing bipolar symptoms when I was about 11 and I started getting in trouble in school because I would fight back on the bullies that, that were uh, bothering me. One bully was bothering me in class, I turned the desk over on him and I came to the attention of authorities because of that. Ended up in therapy at age 11. And uh, ever since then it's been medication and therapy and hospitalizations uh, all the way up to around age 45 when I was released. Um, I've seen some horrors in those places, state hospitals especially. I went to the state hospital in Delaware and state hospital in Pennsylvania where I was born. And uh, they're really little better I think than prisons. In fact, a few of my fellow uh, patients who had spent time in prison said it was worse. Um, I consider myself an advocate for uh, patient rights and um, I helped found a support group called New Directions for bipolars, uh, depressives, and their family members. Uh, we're now up to about 600 members in Wilmington. And uh, I don't know what else to tell you. I feel like I've, I've been victorious over my illness. I was used to be what I call a suicide addict. I would attempt suicide, usually by overdose, three, four, five times a year, every year for 18 years. And I just kept having relatives and friends take my motionless corpse to the ER. And I was frustrated because too many people loved me and they wouldn't let me go. Um, I finally got the right combination of meds at about age 45, which was maybe uh, eight years ago. Um, they hadn't been invented before eight or 10 years ago. Things like Zyprexa, my antipsychotic. Uh, they've been chasing my bipolar for 38 years with um, with lithium alone, and that doesn't do anything for me. I, would, I even attempted overdose by lithium once. Pretty nasty. Uh, today I feel like I've got my act together. I, I can pass for normal, but uh, I'm working primarily on the job with others who have mental health issues and mental retardation and cultural problems, you know. Uh, it's an art program, but we consider it to be also therapy for our people. Um, today, I'm employed, first time in about five years. Uh, I only see my shrink every eight weeks now. It used to be weekly. Um, my meds are mailed to me. So I really can lead a pretty normal life. I think I've come a long way in the last couple of years. And um, I want to give my message to other people who might be struggling with their mental health, that you can get better. It just takes persistence and faith. And over time, maybe you'll have a more normal life, as I do. I'm married 18 years now, and uh, I have a stepson and a job, and these are things I never thought I'd have. When I was really in the throes of my madness, I thought I would grow up to be a serial killer. And uh, I thought that was the only path I had because I had such wild fantasies and such raging depressions. Fortunately, I avoided that path, but uh, today I think I'm a responsible member of society, and uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving my life now.